Okay, you guys, I'm not obviously endorsed by Netflix or anything, but I do have to say that I have seen a lot of videos um, about kink life and BDSM and stuff like that, and it's usually really disappointing or it's over-romanticized or over-villainized, and I was super surprised that this um, movie... A Korean movie um, that was very thoughtful and educational, I felt, as well as showing the different sides of BDSM life. A someone who enjoys it and has um, like one character, he's like, This is me, this is who I am, but he's made to feel like a pervert. Then there's one person who is very accepting and is new to the BDSM lifestyle and she, um, you know, studies on it and is like, yeah, this is something I might want to do. They enter into a relationship as, you know, a dom, female dom and a male sub. And it's really cute to see the effort um, and touching to see the effort she puts in on educating herself, um, as well as him, you know, finding the release of being a sub submissive. As someone who is kinky, I thought this was so great. And then there's also other people in it who they're looking for someone to be a play partner with, and they think they find someone, and that person instead is a predator, unfortunately. And, um, Unfortunately, there are lots of people who are like, oh, well, you're kinky, therefore you like to be hit. Not everybody is into the sadomasochism part of it. And just because you're a masochist doesn't mean you like to get hit. Um, there's many different ways to enjoy pain. So it doesn't mean, oh, I want you to come and punch me in my face. That doesn't get me off. That is not what masochism is. There are some people who are extremely extreme and that's like their thing, but everyone is different. Everybody enjoys it differently. Um, and then like having to balance their workplace relationship and then whether or not they're deserving of love and whether or not you can have a romantic, um, BDSM relationship, which you can, um, there are people who just prefer it to be a BDSM relationship, strictly, you know, contract type, or there are people who cross over into romantic and live at 24 seven. And when you find that person, it is great. Um, and it's fantastic, but I highly recommend if you're interested in, um, kink or wanting to know BDSM, I think this movie um, it's, uh, uh, Love and Leashes is fantastic. So highly recommend 10 out of 10.